hey guys welcome to arise shine guys welcome to my channel today i am here with this awesome recipe guys i am so happy to be sharing this with you all please go ahead and watch this video through to the very end to see this african dish that i whipped up here in my kitchen let's go Okay guys, so this is all the ingredients that I'm using in this recipe guys. Now keep in mind that I did this video like probably like a year or so ago guys. Yes, I did this video a while back and it has taken me a while to post it. But here we are. Alrighty, so these are all the seasonings and you know the spices and herbs that I use for this dish guys it came out so good i really enjoyed it all right so this is uh african fufu and okra stew all right guys let's go ahead and start this recipe all right so first things first we have our goat meat guys all right so you get the pot heat it up and you add your meat into your pot now, this is the first time I have ever made goat meat this way, guys. But hey, there's a first time for everything. Usually when I make goat meat, I curried it. But this one was different. But even if it was different, guys, I really enjoyed it, right? I think that this is something that every African-American should try in their kitchen. You know, try making an African dish. See what it's all about. All right guys, so here I am putting in some red onion, guys. You know, we all know that African, you know, use a lot of tomatoes, palm oil, a lot of red onions, right? They use a lot of herbs, a lot of spices, a lot of bell pepper and stuff like that in their dishes. All right guys, listen, I know sometimes you may look at it and you may be like, oh my gosh, what is that? But I'm telling you, it is so good, really good. Anyways, let's get into the video, guys. All right, so here I am sauteing my goat meat with the red onion, guys. So you cook this thing down, right? You cook it down until, you know, it comes to, uh, you know, like it, it has, it, it, the meat is nice and soft, right? Then you add your seasoning. You add your seasoning, guys. Whatever seasoning you have in your cupboard. You know, for me, I use, um, garlic powder onion powder this is dash as you see you know and pepper and salt right so you know what you use in your kitchen go ahead and do your thing Now guys, as you are all watching, please remember to go ahead and to like this video, guys. Go ahead, like this video, leave a comment, guys. Let me know if you have ever tried African okra stew and fufu. All right, guys. And also, please remember to share it out as well. All right, so as I said, guys, you know, you had your seasoning, add your seasoning to your liking, to your preference. You know, a lot of us, you know, we may have, may have a certain issue like high blood pressure and stuff like that. So, you know, you cannot use a lot of salt, right? So you, you know, use your seasoning the way how you know that it works for you. All right, so now here we are, guys, everything had Everything is cooked down, all the onions and everything is, you know, all sauteed down and cooked down and, you know, you know, infused into that goat meat, guys. All right, so next I'm going to blend out. I don't think you guys are going to see this part. I'm not sure. But, you know, you're going to blend out more red onions and garlic and, oh, there it is. Yes, guys, you're going to blend it out. And we're gonna pour it into 
the pot guys all right and here i have the okra guys now i didn't have the fresh okra you know I, I wasn't able to find any um at that time in the store so i went ahead and i bought the frozen one right so i used the frozen okra but it was it was good just the same all right so here i am guys cooking out the okra all right um you know trying to get out some of the slime out of it guys cooking it down all right guys listen please excuse my pot guys you know that i'm a woman that all the time i'm always cooking for my family so my pots they are going to look rough right yes so ain't no shame in my game my pot is rough because i cook all the time that's something for me to be proud of <laughs> anyways guys so i'm cooking down the okra and then we're gonna combine everything together with the goat meat guys this thing was a bomb it was like so spicy so delicious so tasty guys and the number one thing the palm oil guys yes i've always heard about palm oil guys let me tell you it is so good i tried it out for myself guys I got it to make this dish but after I made this dish I had a lot of palm oil left over and I used it to make my uh, my plantains my green plantains and it was so good guys y'all need to try palm oil to all my Africans out here y'all need to go get y'all some palm oil guys go to Amazon that's where I got it from <laughs> all right guys so I'm cooking down my um, the red you know the red onion and tomatoes and the palm oil guys i i think i didn't use a lot you know usually when i see other videos like they use a lot of um a lot of the oil the palm oil but i'm like trying to be stush with it i'm like hey i'm washing my my cholesterol i don't want to use too much oil <laughs> i should have had some more oil in there but it was okay though all right so here i am i'm pouring in the goat meat guys yes you see you see how good that looks after cooking down in the tomato and the, the onions and everything guys it looks so juicy guys and smells so good all right so you go ahead and you pour some of the sauce in from the from what you cooked earlier and you just let it simmer and you know let it leave it there to do its thing for a while then we're gonna go in with the crabs and the the okra and yes guys just make it delicious now listen i had to try this thing because i kept seeing these videos on on tiktok and youtube on facebook and talking about african dish and I mean like I was looking for restaurants guys in my area and I wasn't able to find any any restaurants I'm like hey I'm just gonna try to make this thing myself all right and I did it and it came out really good I liked it you know Zaria tried it she she liked it you know kids but she tried it she 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 didn't like it as much as I did but she she tried it <laughs> All right, guys, so you're going to miss, you know, I love seafood, you know, so whatever I can get seafood in, you know, I mean, I'm going to enjoy it. So, you know that I enjoyed this one, guys, and I'm sure that you will enjoy it as well. All right, guys, Africans, they have some mm -hmm. delicious dish. And I mean, there's so, so much more dish that I've come across that I would like to try, but I know in the future, I definitely will. guys if you are still here with me go ahead guys like up the video like up the video drop a comment in the description guys let me know if you have tried african fufu let me know if you have tried okra stew let me know if you like it if you have tried to make it yourself guys and if you have been thinking about cooking it here is the perfect video guys for you to watch and for you to you know follow the steps and make it for yourself it's not hard you know it was pretty simple you know especially if you are um familiar with making like goat meat and you know curry goats and stuff like that pretty pretty easy and simple all right as you all can see that i have my scotch bonnet in the pot there guys yes this thing it was really spicy and i think that's 
what I like about it because I love spicy food. You know, it's just something about that adds ketchup and pepper. It just does something to your pot. All right, when you put that that scotch bonnet in, the flavor that it gives food is just it's amazing, so amazing. So, anyways, yes, guys, this was good. I mean, looking at it right now, I'm like literally thinking like, what am I gonna make this again? <laughs> the only thing I had an issue with was the fufu. If I'm pronouncing that right, was the fufu, guys. Um, you know, it it didn't really came out, you know, as as best as as it could have, but. It was my first time making it, so it's all good. All right, but I didn't do a video on that part, you know, so maybe next time. But this was really good, guys. Mmm, look at that pot. Look at that pot. Look at that thing. <laughs> and the okra, guys. I love okra. You know, it's just, it, it does something, you know, um, to the food. And I don't know if it's just like the, the, the icky, gooey, I don't know, but it just does something to the food for me, right? But um, yeah, it was really good. The okra was good. And now I see the okra is like a trending thing, especially for the females out here. So if you want to find new ways to add okra to your diet, go ahead and try this okra stew, guys. There are so many ways that you can make it if you're a vegetarian. You don't have to use the meat. You can use different things in there, right? You don't even have to um, use like crab. There's so many different ways that you can make okra stew, guys. All right, go ahead. Do your research, right? Dive into your, into what would you say? Your, um, your roots. <laughs> yes. Dive into your roots, right? and see what it is that our people, you know, what they are, who they are. You know, how can we know where we're going if we don't know where we're coming from, right? Right? Let us not run away from our African culture, guys. Alrighty, but anyways, yes. I should, probably should have done this video from last month, but I have been away from YT for a while. Anyways, guys, this is the fufu, alrighty, that I um, I tried. It was it was okay, you know, it was pretty okay. But as I said, um, you know, me making it for the first time, it didn't really came out as good as I wanted it, but it was fine. All right, guys, so this is the dish right here.